the, the extraordinary aspect of the Quran to me is that there is a verse in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لا أقسم بمواقع النجوم وإنه لا قسم لو تعلمون عظيم إنه لا قرآن كريم That I swear by the مواقع النجوم This is in Surah Al-Waqi'ah I swear by the, the positions of the stars And this is a vast oath if you but knew And this is a, a generous Quran when, when I lived in the Sahara Desert I used to go every night would look up in the sky and it had the most clear skies in the world because there's no light pollution and you could the the, the number of stars that you could see was just astronomical um, and and it was so extraordinary to look up at the at the night sky but for if if you don't know anything about the stars it just looks like a jumble of lights up in the heavens and it it it, it doesn't look like there's any order they just look like. But there was a man there that I lived with who used to teach me the stars. So he'd show me at night. He'd say, this is, you know, Thuraya, and this is Al-Jabbar, and this is Al-Jathi. And, and he would show me, and then he would say, this one uh, emerges on this date on the horizon, and this one on this date, and this one indicates this season. He had a complete knowledge of the night sky. And over time, I got to understand the night sky in a completely different way because most people grow up in environments where there's no uh, stars anymore. They might see a few stars, but they don't see stars anymore. The Quran is like that. If you look at it the way Thomas Carlyle looked at it, it's just a jumble of lights, astaghfirullah for even saying that, but that's what it appears to be to people. It appears as if it's just a jumble of these amazing, you know, uh, lights that are flashing without any cohesion. But if you have the time, the patience, and the wherewithal to study the book, you will begin to see these incredibly deep patterns in the book. So it's very much the opposite of in the Western tradition where books have an outward cohesion, but as you begin to study them deeper, they often fall apart. This is what deconstruction is all about. And the Qur'an is the opposite. Outwardly, it looks like it's, it, it doesn't have a cohesion. But as the deeper you study it, the more uh, clear the order comes.